Hello, friends, and welcome to Symphony Storytime, where we share two of our favorite things, music and books. My name is Amy. I'll be reading to you today, and I want you to say hi to my friend from the Oregon Symphony, who will be playing the music that goes along with our book. Thank you, Amy, and hello again, everyone. I'm Kenji, and do you remember my viola, Mortimer? He remembers you, and he would like to say hi again. Hi, Mortimer. Uh, so how are you doing today? Only okay? What's the matter? You're hungry? Did you not have lunch yet? Well, I promise we'll, we'll eat right after this. What do you feel like for lunch? You want pizza? Okay, we'll see what we can do. Okay, before Mortimer has his pizza, we have a book to read. The book today is Love. Let's get started. Love, written by Matt De La Pena, illustrated by Lauren Long, published by G.P. Putnam's Son. In the beginning, there is light, and two wide-eyed figures standing near the foot of your bed, and the sound of their voice is love. A cab driver plays love softly on his radio, while you bounce in back with the bumps of the city and everything smells new, and it smells like life. Love, too, is the smell of crashing waves and a train whistling blindly in the distance, and each night the sky above your trailer turns the color of love. In a crowded concrete park, you toddle toward summer sprinklers while older kids skip rope and run up the slide. And soon you are running among them and the echo of your laughter is love. On the night the fire alarm blares, you are pulled from sleep and whisked into the street where a quiet old lady is pointing to the sky. Stars shine long after they've flamed out, she tells you. And the shine they shine is love. But it's not only stars that flame out, you discover. It's summers, too. And friendships. And people. One day you find your family nervously huddled around the TV, but when you ask what happened, they answer with silence and shift between you and the screen. In your dream that night, you are searching for a love that seems lost. You open and close drawers, lift cushions, empty old toy bins, but there's nothing. You wake with a start in the arms of a loved one who bends to your ear and whispers, it's okay, it's okay, it's love. And in time, you learn to recognize a love overlooked, a love that wakes at dawn and rides to work on the bus, a slice of burnt toast that tastes like love. And it's love in each deep crease of your grandfather's face as he lowers himself onto an overturned bucket to fish. 
and its love in the rustling leaves of gnarled trees lined behind the flower fields. And its love in the made-up stories your uncles tell in the backyard between wild horseshoe throws. And the man in rags outside the subway station plays love notes that lift into the sky like tiny beacons of light. And the face staring back in the bathroom mirror, this too is love. So when the time comes for you to set off on your own, Heavy winds will sweep past your building and great gray clouds will congregate above. Your loved ones will stand there like puddles beneath their umbrellas, holding you tight and kissing you and wishing you luck. But it won't be luck you'll leave with because you'll have love. You'll have love, love, love. beautiful book about all the ways that love is always around us. I hope you enjoyed it. It's time for me to leave you now, but you keep watching because Kenji has more music for you. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. So that was actually some music that I wrote. I'm a composer, and in addition to playing the viola, I like to write music. And um, I wanted to leave you with one last thing. This is um, another way of playing the instrument. This is something also that I wrote in which I'm strumming the strings with my finger instead of using the bow. And I'm actually tapping the, the body of the instrument too to maybe sound like drums. See what you think. Hi everybody, good to see you again. I'm Kenji Bunch. And uh, do you remember what I play for the Oregon Symphony? That's right, I play the ukulele. Uh, wait a sec. No, I, guess, I guess I don't play this. Uh, oh, yeah, of course I play the kazoo. Oh, um, no, I don't play the kazoo in the symphony. Oh yeah, this thing. Ooh. No, I don't use that thing. I, oh yeah, this thing. Uh, maybe I don't do that. I know. It's this. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, now I know what I do. I play the viola, right? You remember Mortimer the viola? He says, hi, everybody. Mortimer, um, what do you want to tell the everybody out here about um, our little room here? This is our music room. Yeah, this is where I write music and I practice and I mess around with other fun instruments just because music should be fun. And it helps me to get my work done when I feel like I'm playing. So whatever you do with music, make sure you have fun and make sure even if you're working hard at something, you're still playing. Okay? Uh, you remember the viola? It's a string instrument with four strings. It, you've got the violins that are kind of smaller, the cellos that are bigger, the basses that are really big. The viola is like right in the middle there. It's like the peanut butter in the sandwich. Really good to see all of you. 
and hope to catch you another time. Take care. Bye.